What is up? I'm Jake Wolfenden with Summit Safety Group. This video is intended to provide our clients with a pretty significant update from OSHA within Region 7, which is where several of our clients are. This region includes Missouri, Kansas, Iowa, and Nebraska. On and around February 28, 2022, an OSHA regional compliance specialist sent out an email making note that from February 28th and over the next 90 days, OSHA would be ramping up this regional program on hazardous noise exposures in the workplace, which by the way, is not set to expire until October 1st, 2026. So we could be in this for the long haul, but listen, this is what you need to know. First off, I want you to understand what an emphasis program means for you. It's basically twofold. One, your company pops up on a random inspection list where an OSHA inspector will visit your job site or facility to determine if your employees are exposed to hazardous levels of noise. And if so, check to see if you are actively enforcing a hearing conservation program or determine if you've tested out of having to implement one. Or second, OSHA is at your facility or job site for something completely unrelated to hazardous noise exposures, but because it's an emphasis program, the OSHA inspector is required to dig into your hearing conservation program or lack thereof and see if your operations are compliant with this standard. In other words, OSHA is inspecting your site because of an employee complaint related to forklifts. But the OSHA inspector will also ask about your hearing conservation program, and this is important, evaluate if you've done a noise survey to rule out that your operations do not need to be in a hearing conservation program. Because the only way you know where your operations stand is if you've done a thorough noise survey of your operations. Please note that this REP is for our manufacturing and construction clients throughout the states I listed in Region 7. Now, this regional emphasis program was started because of concerning data OSHA uncovered from the Bureau of Labor Statistics Hearing Loss Surveillance that reported an estimated 22 million people are working in hazardous noise levels and 53% of noise exposed workers report not wearing hearing protection. Additionally, the BLS recently noted private industry workers suffered 14,500 hearing loss cases in 2019, which means the hearing loss incident rate for all private industries nationwide was 1.4 per 10,000 full-time workers. NIOSH's Occupational Hearing Loss Surveillance publication also shows about 51% of all workers in construction have been exposed to hazardous noise. 52% of noise exposed construction workers report not wearing hearing protection, while about 25% of noise exposed tested construction workers have a material impairment, which is a hearing loss that impacts one's day-to-day -day activities. So before I get into the details of how you can be prepared when OSHA arrives on site, I wanna to cut to the chase. If you have any possibility of loud noises in your operations, like hand and power tools and noisy equipment or processes, you must have a full shift sound study conducted to determine if your employees exposed to these loud noises are above or below the personal exposure limits allowed by OSHA, which when noise levels are over an eight hour time weighted average of 85 decibels is where a hearing conservation program must be implemented. Now, if OSHA shows up and you have no decimeter testing for full shift work, you will be cited and they will conduct their own sound testing. This is even the case if you're operating in good intentions and you have employees wearing hearing protection even though no testing was done. Concrete testing data must be known in order to determine accurate execution of a hearing protection program that may or may not be needed. So if you have not received a sound study, please reach out to your SSG consultant right away or contact us at info at summitsafetygroup.com to get a noise survey set up ASAP. We will travel all over the country to conduct these surveys so we can meet you wherever you're at. Now, if you're already in a hearing conservation program, OSHA is going to be looking to see how well you're executing the demands of that program. In other words, have you consistently trained on hearing conservation and PPE? Have you conducted annual hearing tests to determine if your employee's hearing has remained the same or been made worse because of the workplace? There are many other elements to this, but you understand the point. OSHA will be digging deep. 
Now, regarding the on-site hearing test, we only refer our clients to one company because of their solid sales, customer service, and operations teams, and the fact that they have audiologists on staff to help work through detailed medical questions related to hearing threshold shifts, recordable and non-recordable claims, etc. To reach them, go to examinetics.com and get your on-site hearing test scheduled ASAP. They have approximately 130 mobile testing units across the country, and they can meet you wherever you're at. Look, this is a big deal. The citation amounts are only increasing each year, and the cost of getting these surveys done is minimal in comparison. Reach out to us for on-site noise sampling of your employees and areas within your site, and reach out to Examinetics for your on-site hearing testing. As always, if you're a client, we want you to reach out to us for more detailed information on what you can do and what you can expect when OSHA shows up on site. And of course, as a client, we will be walking through the process with you every step of the way. With that, I'm Jake Wolfenden with Summit Safety Group, and we look forward to hearing from you. No pun intended.